Hello, my name is Ray Ellen. I am the Quantum Astrologer for Light Body Academy. A few of you come forth um, asking what's going on. Um, the, the energies are really strong and all that. Well, today is a very special day because we have a full moon eclipse. The eclipse is in the sign of Pisces and Virgo. And what is an eclipse? It's an alignment with the sun, the earth, and the moon. When you have a full moon eclipse, um, this, when you see the shadow that goes across the moon, that's the shadow of the earth between the sun and the moon. This is going to be a partial eclipse. So partial, you would think, wouldn't be as powerful, but it's a super moon. But the planets that are involved with this eclipse are making it very, very powerful. We have the outer planets of Pluto involved. We have Neptune directly in line with the eclipse. And we have Uranus in favorable, in favorable position with the eclipse. So let's sort of talk a little bit about what may be going on in your life at this time. I know for myself that going for my spiritual goals is very, very important. And I really think our soul's purpose is at the forefront right now. It's at the forefront of like, we have to do it or die. I mean, it just seems like that. And what circumstances that are keeping from that feel very intolerable right now. And this is a time where we have to take where we have the ability we have the capacity to take action. We don't have to, because we never have to do anything. We have the capacity to take action to create a new pathway for us out of the old mundane routine that we have been told that we have to do. We are clearing the, the pathway of all the everything that's keeping us from what we want to be doing. So what we're doing is we are in a position to take action, to develop a plan to give us soul fulfillment. Open up a pathway to our soul destiny. Many of us have known that for a very long time, but this is really impelling us at a very, very deep level to go even deeper into that path that we are pursuing, our destiny. So the moon is conjunct Neptune and the North Node. Conjunction merely means conception. So it's a new birth of how we can tap into those whisperings within ourselves, our intuition our dreams, and where we may want to take that. It does not necessarily mean that we'll know where we're going or how we're going to get there, but it's opening up space so that we can achieve that. Now, this is being counterbalanced because the sun and the moon are opposing each other by the sun. The sun's in the sign of Virgo. What is Virgo about? Virgo is about personal development. It's about our health. It's about where we live, our dwellings, where we work, how we work. It has to do with routines. It has to do with where we have space within ourselves, a foundation so that we can house the dreams that we are going towards. My daughter called me up today, and she is right in with this dilemma. She was saying that she was at her job, and it's not how she wants it. And for a long time, she's been wanting to do something different. But today, because there is an um, a impulse of this full moon eclipse energy, it's making it Anything that is intolerable is going to become visible to us. 
So anyway, that said, she said that she wanted to, maybe it's time for her to quit her job, but she's really afraid. And she's been wanting to do this. So I said to her that this is an opportunity to trust and take that chance. You know, it's like diving off that cliff and trusting and knowing that you are going to land safely. Because of all of us that have this destiny, all of us that are these way showers, all of us that are on the plan for the new Homo Luminous, we will be guarded over in one way or another. It doesn't mean that we won't go through chaos. It doesn't mean it's going to be uncomfortable. Because all of those will be ways to show us that those parts of ourselves aren't integrated yet. And it gives us opportunity to change things in a whole different way. Now, we have the help of the outer planets as well. Pluto in true sky sidereal astrology has retrograded back into the sign of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all about truth. And Pluto is a sign, is a planet of death and rebirth. And it's anything that is not aligned with our truth. We have to let go of. It's really essential to really be honest with ourselves and decide what our truth may be. And it's a harmonious aspect to Neptune. So following our intuition can guide us into our truth. Uranus is a favorable aspect to Pluto and Neptune. It's in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is about what we want to manifest. It's about our self-worth. And anything that is not aligned with our self-worth, anything that is not aligned with the part of ourself that is trying to express our true genius is going to be shattered. Now, we have six months to do this. It's not like we have to do this today. But this is a time to get a plan together. And I think a simple exercise would be envisioning yourself across the table from yourself and having a conversation with the part of yourself that knows that it has a spiritual destiny and the part that's keeping and the other part that's keeping you from achieving that. So these are just simple things that we can do. And <clears throat> in two weeks, on October 2nd, we're going to have a new moon. So this is a time to kind of mull over how you want to change your pathway to embrace your spiritual destiny. In two weeks, maybe you can implement something. But just to let you know and that <clears throat> this year is a year of endings. And we have an opportunity to end anything that is not aligned with where we want to go. Next year, all the major planets are going to be moving into new signs. So this is a critical mass movement from now until next March of what we want to eliminate from our life, anything that is not essential, and it's not criticizing yourself, it's critiquing your life so that you can embrace the destiny that you wish to embrace within your heart, your authenticity your essence. So I hope this helped and enjoy the new the the full the full moon tonight. 1044 um Eastern time. And I'm not sure where you are, but you'll only see a little 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 bit bite out of the moon, but that is it. And we are in the process right now. So thank you and hope this was helpful. See you soon.